Hello friends in this video we are going to learn how to convert div element to an editable HTML form and save the changes to the database without page refresh using PHP with Ajax jQuery using MySQL database. This is my testing database in which I have one table employee, in which there is four field like id, name, gender and designation. I have already inserted some data into this table. I will select first data from this table and display on web page. When user click on data division tag will convert it into HTML form and user can edit that data also and changes will save to database. This is my simple PHP page in which I have used Bootstrap CSS library for CSS and I have also used Query JavaScript library. First I want to select one data from employee table and display on web page. For this first I want to make database connection. So for this I have write host is equal to localhost. Username is equal to root password field is equal to blank and database field is equal to testing. Value of all this fields I will use for making database connection. After this I have write name variable is equal to blank, gender variable is equal to blank, designation variable is equal to blank and employee it is equal to blank, and all this variable I will get data from employee table and store data into this variable. For database connection I have used PHP data object, so in this all code write under try and catch block, so I have write try and catch block. In try block first I have make database connection, so I have write connect variable is equal to new PHP data object open and close bracket and between bracket I have write my SQL host is equal to host variable. Database name is equal to database variable, username variable and password variable. This way we can make database connection using PHP data object. After this I have to set attribute, so I have write connect variable with set attribute method with PHP data object with attribute error mode and PHP data object error mode exception. This way we can set attribute. In PHP data object modal if there is any error occurred in code we can get error in catch block, so in catch block I have write PHP data object exception with error variable and for getting error so I have write error variable with get message function. This way we can get specific error message. After this I want to write select data query for select single record from employee table, so for this I have write statement variable is equal to database connection string connect with prepare method and in this method I have write select query like select star from employee table where it is equal to 1. After writing select query I want to execute this select query, so for this I have write statement variable with execute method. By using this method we can execute a prepared statement and return result into associative array and store into statement variable. Now I want fetch all data from statement variable, so for this I have write for each loop with statement variable as row variable. By using for each loop we can access all the data of statement variable by using row variable as reference variable. In for each block I have write employee it is equal to row variable with table column name it, name variable is equal to row variable with table column name name, gender variable is equal to row variable is equal to row variable with table name column name gender and designation is equal to row variable with table column name designation. This way we can store table data into this fields. I will use this fields value to display data on web page. Now I have moved to HTML code part, in this first I have defined one form with it is equal to submit form with method post. In this form, I have write to division tag, in first division tag I have write division tag with class name division field. 
In this tag I will display text data from table and when user click on this division tag HTML formed with data will display. First I have to set style of this division field tag, so I have write padding property to 16 pixel. When user mouse hover this division tag so I have right division field with hover and in this I have right background color to gray color and border radius to 5 pixel. So when user mouse hover to this field background color will change to gray color. Under the division field class field I want to display name, gender and designation data under this field, so for this I have write text name is equal to echo statement with name variable, after this I have write gender text is equal to echo statement gender variable and designation is equal to echo statement with designation variable. This way we can display data on web page in text format under this division tag. In second division tag with class name is equal to form field. In this field I will display HTML form and it will on display on web page and display only after one user click on division field tag. Now under this form field class I want to display HTML form and in, in this HTML form first I want to display text box for name. So for this I have write input type is equal to text name is equal to name it is equal to name and value is equal to open and close PHP tag in between tag I have write echo statement with name variable. After this I have want to display select option for gender, so I have write select name is equal to gender it is equal to gender. In this tag I have write two option with value male and female. Under form I want to display text box for display value of designation field, so for this I have write input type is equal to text name is equal to designation it is equal to designation and value is equal to open and close PHP tag and between this tag I have write designation variable in which I have stored data of designation. After this I want to store employee aid under one hidden field. So for this I have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to employee aid and value is equal to open and close PHP tag and between this tag I have write echo statement with employee aid variable which I have already defined above. Lastly I want create save button for save data, so for this I have write button type is equal to button with name is equal to save it is equal to save and with save text. I want to also create cancel button for hide HTML form and again display data in text format, so for this I have write button tag with type is equal to button name is equal to cancel and is equal to cancel with button text is equal to cancel. Friends you can see that data in text format and in data in HTML form also. Now I want to hide form division tag, so I have go to division tag with class name form field and write style is equal to style is equal to display property set to none. Now form field is hide and I want to display this field only when user click on division tag with class name is equal to division field, so in query code I have write dollar with selector class name division field with click event with anonymous function. When user click on this division tag then division tag with class name form field must be show and this division tag must be hide, so I have write dollar form field selector dot show method. By this code form field selector will display. 
after displaying form field I want to hide text data division tag, so for this I have write dollar with this selector dot hide method, this code will hide division tag with class name division field. After displaying HTML form and in this HTML form there is one cancel button. When user click on cancel button, HTML form must be hide and text data must be display. So for this I have write dollar with selector like cancel which is an if button with click event with anonymous function. For hiding HTML form, so I have write division tag with class name form field dot hide method. This will hide HTML form. When HTML form hide then at the time division with class name division field data must be show for this I have write dollar with selector division field dot show method. This will display division tag with text data. Now friends I have moved to save the HTML form data, so for this I have write dollar with save which is an it of save button with click event with anonymous function. Under this function first I have write variable name is equal to dollar with selector name which is an it of name text box with value method. This will store the name text box value into this name variable. After this I have write variable designation is equal to dollar with selector designation which is an it of designation text box with value method. This will store the designation text box value into this designation variable. After this I have write of statement with condition like name variable is equal to blank or operator designation variable is equal to blank. This condition will check if any of the above variable has blank value then it will execute if block of code and under this I have write alert with message like all fields are required. But suppose both variable has value then it will display else block of code, in else block it will call ajax function and under ajax function first I have set url to update.php. URL is a string containing the URL to which the request is sent. After this I have set method to post, the HTTP method to use for the request. In third parameter I have write data with dollar with selector like submit form which is an it of HTML with serialize method. This method creates a URL encoded text string by serializing form values. You can select one or more form elements. Lastly I have write success callback function, a function to be called if the request succeeds. I will write jQuery code after I have write PHP code under update.php page. Now I have moved to update.php page and on this page first I have make database connection by using PHP data object and in PHP data object code is writing try and catch block. In try block I first I want to write SQL query for update form data, so for this I have write statement update variable is equal to database connection string connect with prepare statement and under this I have write update query like update employee table set name is equal to post name field, gender is equal to post gender field, designation is equal to dollar post designation field where it is equal to dollar post employee aid field get from hidden field after this i want to execute this update query so for this i have write statement update with execute method this will execute prepare statement after update employee data now i want to select updated data from table so for this I have write statement select is equal to database connection string connect with prepare statement and under this I have write select star from employee table where it is equal to dollar post employee aid field. After this I want to execute this select query, so for this I have write statement select variable with execute method. 
This will execute prepare statement and store result under statement select variable in associative array format. Now I have write for each statement select variable as row variable. With help of for each loop we can access statement select variable with reference of row variable. Now I have write this copy code from index.php page and simply paste here and only add echo statement. This alt data will display at the front end to the user under the division tag with class name division field. Now I have moved the query code of Ajax success function and under this function I have write dollar with selector like division field which is class name of division dot HTML method with parameter data. This will display updated data under the division tag with class name division field. After this I want to hide form field, so for this I have write dollar with selector form field dot hide method. This will hide division tag with form field. And lastly I want to display division tag with class name division field. So for this I have write dollar with selector like division field dot show method. This will display division tag with class name division field. So friends this is my video on how to convert the HTML division tag to editable HTML form by using jQuery and save the data into my SQL database using PHP with Ajax. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends and even you can also share on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.